This comes after the team's loss to the Redskins on Sunday, making the team 5-7 to seven this season. They've lost four consecutive games. Rivera has been with the organization since 2011. Our sports team has been following this breaking news. Joining us now on the phone is sports director Nick Carboni. Nick, what can you tell us about this announcement? Well, Sarah, I don't think it's surprising given the way the season has gone and even last season has gone that Ron Rivera would be let go. I think the surprising part about it is that he did survive yesterday, the day after that loss to the Washington Redskins in front of a half-empty Bank of America stadium. Many thought that David Tepper, the owner in his second year now, while growing impatient with what he calls mediocrity that's been with the franchise since its inception in the mid-1990s, Many thought that he would evaluate Ron Rivera after the season and make the move then. So why it is happening on Tuesday, uh, you could speculate based on what Rivera said in his state, uh, Tepper, excuse me, said in his statement that maybe philosophies of how to handle the final four games of the season weren't lining up. Rivera said he was sticking with the veteran guys on the field, despite the team having little to no playoff chances left. And that includes quarterback Kyle Allen, instead of giving rookie draft pick Will Greer a shot, uh, it looks like also Scott Turner, the young quarterback's coach, will be elevated to offensive coordinator, so they're going to see what he's like in that role for the remaining four games as interim coach Perry Fuel uh, takes over for Ron Rivera, the winningest coach in franchise history. Thank you very much. And, of course, we will continue to follow this breaking news all afternoon and right here on NBC Charlotte. Join us at 4 o'clock for the very latest. Back to regular programming there from 2014 until 2018. So you lived there a little over four years? Yes, ma'am. How did the holes get in the... Uh